hello my loves welcome to your manifest anything 21 day challenge today is day 20 okay i did take a break yesterday um the day just got away from me you know how that happens where everything sawed off and the next thing you know it's like get crazy so let's get these readings out okay <laughs> the day just got away from me Let's see. We are on day 20. We have one more day, guys. One more day. I'm so happy to wrap this up. I don't know about nobody else, but it's been a little challenging to stay consistent for me, I'll say. But I'm happy that I have been consistent. It's good enough for me, all right? I'll take the win. Um, let's see. What does Libra need to know for day 20? All right, we're going in the Florence Scovel Shins Game of Life Affirmation and Inspiration cards for the focal point of the reading. And then we're going to do a nice spread. I'm using the Urban Tarot. That's what I'm going to close the challenge out with, the Urban Tarot. Because I do love, I love this deck. All right, let's see. It says, one must ever hold the vision of one's journey in and demand the manifestation of that which has already received. It may be one's perfect health, love, supply, self-expression, home, or friends. One must ever hold the vision of one's journeys, of one's journeys in and demand the manifestation of that which has already received. It must be one, it may be one's perfect health, love, supply, self-expression, home, or friends. You must hold your vision. So hold the vision of what you, of your journey's end. Hold the vision of your out goal. Hold the vision on what it is that you wish to receive. And demand the manifestation of that which has already, which one has already received. Okay. Demand the manifestation of. So demand the manifestation of what you've already received. So this is you cultivating the energy and you demanding the actual thing. Okay, you're demanding it to, you're demanding it to materialize. Although you've already received, you already have the feelings, you already have, you're speaking like it, you're walking like it. You're just demanding to see it now. So where is it? And this could be perfect health, love, supply, self-expression, home, or friends. Hold that in vision, in body, be that thing, and demand the manifestation of it. Demand the manifestation of it, okay? Let's see. All right, let's see what we have. All right, what messages do we have for Libra? 21 day manifest anything challenge. 21 day manifest anything challenge. Twenty one day manifest anything challenge. All right, let's see. What is one critical thought? One critical thought that you could release is that you have to do everything by yourself. I see the ace of pentacles here, but I also see this very, very strong person who's holding this this really, really big pinnacle up by themselves. And yes, you have become really, really strong and you hold these things up well, but you don't always have to continue to do it by yourself. The fact that you don't have any help, that is the critical thought that can be hindering you. That can be making something a little bit harder for you. All right. For some of you guys, there's a need for you to go back to the um, drawing board and draw help in your life. 
there's something that you there's something that you always just seem like you you think that you have to do by yourself. All right. And then also you want to release the critical thought that you don't have enough that you can't hold yourself up. Because it's two. It's either one person who's doing all the holding and then it's, it's extreme. So it's either you doing all the holding or you ain't doing no holding. So it's either you holding everybody up, which I feel like that's more of it because that's what came from the morning inspo. You're holding everyone up on your shoulders, feeling like you, you don't have any type of support. That's the critical thought that you need to release. And there's some people who, who can't hold nothing up, who don't give themselves no credit to hold up a penny. Feels like that they need help for every little thing. Um... They can't do anything by themselves. They haven't tried to finish something. It's hard for them to finish, to get to the end. So for that person's goal, it will be just finishing something. Get, give yourself small tasks. And just all you want to do is worrying about finishing, 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 finishing. Somebody may be the year of the horse. You know, the year of the, year of the horse has a, a hard time finishing. They always galloping away doing something else. So someone may be the year of the horse here. A small few of people um, where they don't feel like that they could finish something. But then there's a person who, who finishes, but they when they finish, they're broken, beaten, battered, and they feel terrible inside. Yeah, they have the, the physical strength. Yeah, they get the accolades. They get people to say, wow, they did it by themselves. But how they feel on the inside, you're manifesting all of that. What's up, what, what situation does Libra need to bless and baptize? What situation does Libra need to bless and baptize? All right. Power. Power. There's two. Find two. Now, for the traditional meaning of the Four of Pentacles card, this is you holding yourself back. So there's a situation where you feel where you have physically held yourself back from and you could have be been beating yourself up from that moment. Like I held myself back from this situation. I should have did this. I self-sabotaged. I know I self-sabotaged, blah, 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 blah. There's a need for you to bless the situation. Bless it and call, call it a success. Don't make it seem like it hindered your journey. Make it seem like it aided your journey. Don't make it seem like, okay, I got, I got more work to do because of. Make it seem like you got, you got a party to go to. There's a celebration because of. There's a need for you to kind of like change your mindset. Also, there's another one. There's someone who abused their power. This, is, this, is, this goes to a person. Someone that abused their power. There's a need for you to call their name. Bless whatever their name is for abusing their power in what by doing blah, 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 blah to me. I bless and I baptize that situation as success. Now, there's a person who abused. They could have they could have done a lot of help, but they decided to do a lot of hurt, a lot of harm. So there is a person who's abusing their power. And there is something that you may have felt like that you held yourself back from. Now, this could be like, you could feel like you held yourself back for something and then someone would feel like, okay, I'd be around people who have power trips, who abuse their power all the time. Okay? There's something you've been dealing with for a long time. All right? Okay? And the critical thought is delay stagnation. Also, someone feels like someone is panicked. Someone is paranoid. They feel like the worst is going to happen. There's a need for you to cast a burden of worry. There's a person that's worried here. There's a person that's more than worried. Like you're, you're, you're in a state of almost panicking. Almost panicking. Then there's a person who needs to cast the burden of delay of waiting. Like you're going to for, uh, forever be waiting for that ship to come in. And you're going to forever be delayed or something like that. There's a need for you to kind of like cast that burden. For some of you guys, you see yourself as the person who's always waiting. Not the person who's always winning. Some of you guys see yourself as the consumer and not the person who owns the building. Some some people, you see yourself in a, in a, different, a, a different light. 
and there's a need for you to give yourself a little bit more grace. All right, but someone is in a worried state. They're worried that the worst is going to happen. All right. Prepare for the magician. It's in here as the mage. Prepare for the magician. Prepare for you becoming as powerful, confident. The magician is very, very confident. The magician has that, that, that Aries, that, that I'm first, not last type of energy. That magician has that energy of like, I can do whatever I put my mind to. I can have whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. I can be whatever I want. Prepare for that level of confidence to come. Some of you guys already have that work ethic. Where you tap into this inner strength. You have to tap into this inner strength to hold this big old pinnacle by yourself. So you have to tap into that inner strength and you have to believe. You have to have the belief system that I can do this. It's just the, where the conflict comes in is that you don't want to do it by yourself. Yes, it makes your ego say I want to do it by myself or I did it by myself, but deep down inside you don't want to do it by yourself. Deep down inside you wish you can call on people for help, for support, for love, for care, for nurturing. Just because because you feel alone, you just want to sit with somebody. You want to have that 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 community around you. That's where the end that's where the the conflict comes in. Because you end up doing the job and resenting. You end up finishing, but resenting. You end up resenting yourself, resenting other people, um, putting yourself down for not asking for help, for being afraid to ask for help, and then looking at other people, blaming them for not giving you help, for not reading your mind and seeing that you do need help. Does that sound familiar to somebody? Does somebody know how that people don't know how to ask for what it is they want and need, ask for their needs to be met? So instead of you asking for your needs to be met, you muster up all the strength and you do the job first. You do the, all the job by yourself. Am I talking to anyone? Not just myself here. Okay. There's already a level of strength that you possess. If you ain't get nothing from this reading, get that you are already strong as hell. You already have this confidence here. There's a need for it to be molded though you know but there's already some level of confidence where you feel like you can do the impossible because you have to tap into that energy to do the impossible you do the impossible on a daily basis all right prepare to be the magician Super magical, confident, talented, smart, okay, fierce, creates alchemy. Let me make sure, I want to make sure the cards is messed up, all right. Creates alchemy. They believe that the magician 100% believes in himself. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands. For some of you guys, you don't hold, you don't, you don't ask for help because you want to stay focused. You want to keep your eye on the prize. You don't want to get sidetracked. You don't want anyone else to sidetrack you. But there's going to come a point in a time where you're hit between the crossroads and you're going to have to ask for help. That's going to be something that you're going to have to ask for help. You're going to have to be vulnerable. Some of you guys, you think like this is what you're telling yourself, the intentions, because I, I just want to stay focused. I don't want nobody to throw me off sidetrack. I like to work. I like to stay down. I like to get in it. But for real, for real, you are too, you, you're afraid to be vulnerable to ask for help. And the critical thought that you have to do it, I have to do it by myself because I don't have help. That's the critical thought. When in all actuality, if you were to take responsibility and say that, well, I, I, I'm afraid to ask for help because there was a time when I really needed help and I asked for help and I didn't get it. Or somebody told me no. Or instead I got in trouble. 
or instead I, it's, it's something else that's making you want to do everything by yourself. Tell me more about the four of pentacles. All right. You have the five of pentacles in reverse. This is help is on the way. This is support is on the way. There's support for you. So if there's someone who's abusing their power, there's support for you. And if there's something that you feel like you self-sabotage yourself from, there's another opportunity. That's why you bless this situation. There is a feeling of loneliness of being left out in the cold, though. And I do feel like being left out in the cold means someone left you out. So it has something to do with another person. I do feel like somebody could definitely be abusing their power. But there is some type of support. Support comes into the way that uh, uh, in the best way. And. You get the help that you needed. You get the support that you need. Tell me more about the three of wands. All right, you have the nine of wands here. Yeah, there's a person who's panicking, who's worried about going forward. You have the nine of wands. You could be hurt. You could be broken. You could be weak. You feel weak. You feel, yeah, you got the five of cups. There's been a lot, like, you feel like you can't go on, really. There's been a lot that's happened, disappointment and things like that. You're so worried about your next step, worried about looking over your shoulders. There's a person who needs to take a step back and needs to nurse themselves, like, and then, and then, you know, cast the burden of worry or panic on the Christ within so you go free to be at peace. This is peace. Someone is disrupting their peace. Now, the journey has been hard, um, but you have been now you're worried about trust. Now you can't trust someone. You can't trust a person. Tell me more about the mage. The mage. Oh, and the high priestess. And the, you got one and the two. This is you. Prepare to be in alignment. All this confidence. Your intuition heightening. You got the seven of swords in reverse. I forgive you. I'm not worried about it. Making amends with the past. Prepare. Prepare to be healed. And not, not only healed, but powerful. The high priestess and the, mag and the magician, they're both very, very powerful. High priestess is more so in the intuition. The magician is like really, really magical. The magician is a master manifester. Prepare to become a master manifester. All right, let's go into... The Sacred Rebel Oracle. Finish the read. Yes. You have a big, bold vision. Hold your vision. Big, bold vision. This is after the storm. That's what that cast the burden. After the storm trustworthy someone's going to have someone's been through something like traumatic and they're having trust issues right now or they're they're worried about they're looking over their shoulders they can't quite they don't feel protected because of something that they've been through there's a need for you to cast that burden all right the storm is over now the war is over now all right and you have against the grain all right um, there's something, some of you guys, you're very, very creative. There's something that you're going to go against the grain with. You're supposed to go against the grain. You're supposed to go against like, not what other people, basically what other people say. There's, you just have a different way of thinking about things in this life. 
where people may look at your view as it's crazy or it's not going to happen or this. And that probably is why you do you tend to do things on your own because you just want to stay focused and maybe you're doing work that people just don't kind of like believe in or kind of they don't support it or they don't believe that you can get something done. So you don't really tell people, but there are people that you can talk to. There are people that support you too. Not everybody. You may just find one person who you can call and, you know, you can help, you can um, share your ideas and that will be so much, that will mean so much to a person who feels like they have to do everything by themselves. And it's because you have this different way. You think outside of the box more times than not. 90% of the times you're thinking outside of the box and only 10%, 10% you're on the inside. So tell me, who are you going to relate with? If everybody is thinking inside the box, 90% and only 10% outside and 90% of the times you're thinking outside and 10% you're thinking inside, who the hell are you going to relate to? So when you find those people who you feel like you can relate to, there's a need for you to open yourself up to them. But some of you guys, you don't have to do everything on your own. You could have had people tell you, like, that's crazy. You can't do this. You can't. So you just mustered up the strength to be like, okay, if I know if I really want something, I'm going to have to do it on my own because I don't have help. I don't have the support. I don't have whatever I need. And for me to keep me so I can keep focused, so I can stay hitting these marks and stay consistent with what I want to do, I'm going to just have to be quiet about it. Because other than that, I might feel discouraged if I let these people in. But that's a certain group of people. That's not every single body. Okay, so that is your reading and I'm going to leave the reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give the reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.